What is up my fellow subscribers? welcome back to a new video today, I am bringing you some more delicious Modern Warfare Massive gameplay because no one gives two shits about Infinite Warfare, I mean I haven't played that game in like a week or so and I, I'm only like level 20 something, It's this is fucking incredible, but anyways back to MWR Today I'm bringing you 10 weapon secrets a lot of people don't know, especially if they have never played Call of Duty 4. Some of these things are like glitches that happen when you do certain things with certain guns and other curiosities and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this shit because this is pretty interesting. Some of these things can make your guns a little bit better and other of these things can make your guns not as good. It's not a big deal but it's pretty interesting as I said. So the first thing on this list ladies and gentlemen is that the MP5 and the M9 pistol share ammo when they are both equipped. If there's an M9 on the ground, if you pass over it, you will get more ammo on your MP5. This is not like something super useful or, or whatever, but it's pretty funny to see that the MP5 and the M9 are best friends and they don't mind sharing ammo with each other, which is something that doesn't happen with any other gun. It's pretty cool to see that two different guns can share ammo. The second thing on this list, ladies and gentlemen, is that if you use the G3 with a silencer, you can't knife shit unless you find a little Jimmy sitting like a duck on the ground, not fucking moving. Pretty much when you use a silencer on the G3, if a player is not moving, you can get a kill, but pretty much you're gonna knife the player and only one second later you are going to get the kill. If people are running around, it is pretty much impossible. So uh, if you like panic knifing, don't use the silencer on the G3 because you won't be able to knife shit. Thing number three, if you use a red dot or a silencer on the AK-74U, your hip fire accuracy is lowered. So pretty much if you look at the crosshair on the center of the screen when you don't use any of these attachments the crosshairs are closer but if you use the red dot sight or the silencer you can see that the crosshairs get a little bit bigger they are a little bit more far away from each other so pretty much your AK 74 you get the hip fire accuracy of an assault rifle thing number four if you use the red dot sight on the AK 47 you get less range on the weapon so it's gonna take more bullets to kill players at a long range it's not a big deal you don't really notice it because it only takes you like one or two extra bullets so pretty much um, it's only at sniper range at very long range that you can notice this so don't be scared you can still use the red dot sight on the AK-47 it's just gonna take you one or two extra bullets at a long range Thing number five, if you use the grip attachment on the M249 saw, which is an LMG, your hip fire accuracy is increased. So what happens is that the crosshairs without the grip are far away, but with the grip they are closer together. It's like you get the hip fire accuracy of an SMG on this LMG, or it's like you get the perk steady aim when you use grip on this LMG. And the other LMGs don't have this benefit when you use grip, so I think that's, that's a little bit racist. I think number six on this list, ladies and gentlemen, is that, and I think a lot of people know this, if you use the ACOG sight on the M40A3, the damage of the sniper rifle is increased. So pretty much you can kiss bye-bye to hit markers. This thing will be a one-shot kill every single time to any part of the body, which is crazy. I don't know why the ACOG increases the damage of the sniper rifle. With a scope, you rarely get any hit markers, but with this thing, it's no hit markers. It's always a one-shot kill. Kill. Which one should you use? Well, if you suck at close range and you just like getting kills from a long distance, the scope is better for you. If you like running around as if you were using a shotgun, then the ACOG sight is going to be better for you. But you can still kill people at long range with the ACOG sight. Thing number seven, in Modern Warfare Remastered, the gun in your hands does not decide your speed. So pretty much what this means is that if you spawn with an LMG, you will run super slow until you switch to a different class. You will have the LMG speed on your character, which is like snail speed, super slow, until you switch to a different class. As I said, if you pick up an SMG off the ground, you, even though it's lighter than an LMG, you will still run super, super slow. And I think that this is something that doesn't happen in, in the other Call of Duties. I might be wrong though. 
Seat number 8, the AK-74U, the M4, the AK-47 and the G-36C are the only guns other than sniper rifles that have idle sway. Now you might be asking yourself, what the fuck is idle sway? Well, it is when you are aiming down the sights on the M4 or the other guns and the gun is moving you can't stop it just moving slowly from left to right and it just keeps doing that while the other guns without idle sway don't fucking move one bit when you are aiming down the sights now this is not a big deal but uh, it's pretty interesting to see that these guns have this feature and the other ones do not thing number nine this is something a lot of people don't know the mounted mgs completely shred they destroy choppers in seconds so pretty much if you are playing in one of these maps with the mounted mgs and a chopper is completely destroying your team and you don't want to switch to an lmg class or if you suck with the rpg you can use one of these bad boys and oh my god the chopper will disappear in like a fucking second it is insane i actually think that they should nerf this and finally, ladies and gentlemen, thing number 10, the Scorpion reload animation is faster than the actual reload. So pretty much this happens because the Scorpion has two reloading animations. There's the animation of reloading without any bullets with an empty mag, and then there's the reloading animation with still a few bullets in the magazine. If you don't have any bullets, when the Scorpion reloads, at the end he pulls a pin, or whatever it's called, uh, on the scorpion but if you still have a few bullets left he doesn't pull the pin and that's why it seems that the reload animation is faster than the actual reload because he was supposed to pull the pin so that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen 10 little curiosities 10 little secrets about guns in modern warfare master i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time peace out